Growing up near an Air Force base, we would always see airplanes flying and go to air shows every year. My grandfather's a private pilot, Air Force veteran as well. It kind of sparked my interest. When I was trying to find a career that would be good for me, I kind of made the decision that I love flying and, and I love the Air Force jets that I saw every day, so that's just what got me here. When you sit in F-16, the nose slopes off to where you can just barely see out the front. It's a bubble canopy without a canopy bow, and you literally, when you get airborne, you feel like you're sitting on top of the world. The F-16 is my first love in terms of fighter planes. I've got over 60 combat missions in both Iraq and Afghanistan, and I've got almost 2,000 hours in the F-16. When I was asked to switch over to the F-35 and become initial cadre and instructor for this brand new airplane, I was hesitant because I love the F-16 and I'm comfortable with the F-16, but I was excited because it's the wave of the future, the F-35, and it is where we need to go in terms of fighting tomorrow's war. I love where this airplane is going, and I love the fact that it's designed to take us to the next step in capability. There's millions of lines of code in the software, and this thing is, is no kidding, a flying computer. It's got cleaner lines. You don't have wing tanks on it. You don't have external racks of ordnance. You don't have missiles or bombs hanging under the wings. It's just a slick airplane. You know, evades radar, evades infrared sensors, so it's a stealthy airplane, which is the biggest difference. It's a huge honor to be part of this program and to be what we call initial cadre, part of the leading edge. It's a, it's a huge deal to me. I'm a civilian airline pilot and an Air Force fighter pilot. I'm a citizen airman.